reach out and touch your tech. I've been saying for a while that your phone is crazy powerful and that you should be using it more to replace other computers in your tech life. What we lack are good accessories to better make use of this power. So a little while back, I reviewed a nifty solution called the Next Dock, which is basically a laptop shell, screen, keyboard, battery, and the brain of this computer is supplied by you on a phone, tablet, or another proper computer. This is the second generation Next Dock, and I've been using mine a ton on a variety of gadgets and reviews. But the one thing missing has been a touch screen, which is here, now, the Next Dock Touch is in the Gadget Lab. Everything I currently like about my Next Dock, light refinements all around. And now you can poke at the screen. We get a 14 inch 1080p IPS LCD, a 60 watt hour battery, quad speakers on the bottom, and ports. The Next Dock has ports. A full sized HDMI and USB C inputs on one side, USB A, a headphone jack, and a memory card reader on the other side. Your fancy new phone might lack memory card expansion and a headphone jack, but you can bring them back with a dock. The first round of pre-orders are shipping now, and Next is prepping a second round probably to ship early next year, where this whole shell sells for $269. Some other improvements from the last generation Next Dock, the touchpad feels a little nicer, the speakers are a little clearer, and the bezels are much smaller. The overall build is a little thicker, but I do like that the new charger has a detachable USB cable. One of the main complaints or criticisms I got in my first Next Dock video, if you're just gonna carry around a laptop sized gadget, it you should just buy another laptop. But why buy this when I can get a really cheap Chromebook? And some of those points are valid. They might be purchasing considerations for you folks watching videos like these. But those criticisms overlook the benefits of what we're trying to do here. Why buy more computer when fewer computer just as good? If you've got a reasonably current premium phone, chances are pretty good it's already more powerful than most Android tablets or cheap Chromebooks. Also, your phone has that data connection. If you have a new phone, congratulations. You also have a 5G enabled laptop. And this has a decently sized battery built in, not just to power the screen, but also to charge your phone. So when you're done using your phone like a laptop, you disconnect it and you still have a fully charged phone ready to go. And whenever you upgrade your phone, your laptop gets upgraded too. There are a couple phones out already with decent desktop modes, like Samsung DeX, and LGs have been improving their desktop modes this year too. But even plugging in a regular phone, having a proper keyboard and trackpad improves most interactions where you want to sit and work. And Android can split screen. I wrote the script for this on my Xperia 1 Mark II in Microsoft Office. While also streaming, best of the worst. It works really well. And while writing, I could easily swap back and forth to check other social media apps and keep up with my Discord. Yes, touch screen, but also keyboard commands like Alt-Tab, just like working on a proper laptop. Now, touch screen is super cool if you've got software like Dex that can really interact with it. But when connected to another phone, Android phones only seem to recognize touch input when the phone is in landscape. Touches won't register in portrait mode. So phones without a desktop mode will maintain their aspect ratio, so you might get some letter or pillar boxing. Except for some current LG phones that are smart enough to match the aspect ratio of TVs and monitors. There are just so many pieces of this that I really like. An accessory that should outlive a single phone purchase. An interface that should allow someone to get more work done from a mobile gadget. There's the security aspect of someone stealing your laptop and basically getting nothing. For most of the netbook or Chromebook kinds of use, this is going to be more powerful. And even driving a phone harder, you need a really nice laptop to properly beat a decent smartphone for heavy lifting like video rendering. Mix in some game streaming options like Stadia or Game Pass, and we get closer and closer to a total package solution. And I've been focusing mostly on phones because I do focus on phones, but the next stock has been phenomenal for PC building. It's so much easier to build and tear down PCs when you've got an all-in-one self-powered monitor, keyboard, and mouse to hook up. And it's been sneaking into my videos on the regular to show off other gadgets 
because I really use it to review those other gadgets. Think of all those times where a second monitor might have come in handy, or when you'd want a larger portable display for a camera. If you're really trying to maximize your other gadget use, I'm pretty confident your next dock is gonna get around. 269 bucks. This is a terrific project accessory. And it's exciting to see such a nice follow-up from a boutique manufacturer, especially since it seems like mainstream companies are afraid of disrupting the idea of owning multiple computers. You know, Samsung DeX is excellent software and Samsung has a terrific laptop division. So it's a shame they won't offer Galaxy specific hardware to make the most out of a great feature on their phones. Those of us who really want to squeeze every penny of performance out of a gadget purchase, well, we can use a Next Dock. I'll leave some links down below where you can find more info on the Next Dock, maybe jump on their next batch of pre-orders. Definitely worth checking out. This is a company I've been so excited to follow over the last couple of years. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, subscribing to the channel. Supporting your favorite content creators has never been more critical than it is today. So I greatly appreciate those of you who really do scan down through the links in the description. Maybe also check out my merch store. It's always a big help keeping this channel up and running. Now, if you want the full list of my affiliates and partnerships, you can check out somegadgetguide.com, or you might consider joining the list of names currently scrolling by on your screen. That's a growing community of super cool tech pals, patreon.com slash somegadgetguy, basically the best people on the web. <laughs> now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet, at somegadgetguy on the Twitters and the Twitch, and the Facebooks and the Instagrams. And I will catch you all on the next video.